Hello everyone. This is Dr. Mitesh Gala. Welcome to Rough Book, a learning companion. Hi. We are beginning with exponents exercise 2A. Exponents is a very simple topic. The first exercise is very very simple. Second exercise, yeah, you got to be little good with it. You got to have your laws intact in your head and then you'll get the second exercise also very very easily. Don't worry, we'll see to it that we make this topic as simple as possible. You need to understand some laws of exponents so exponents basically the other word is the index or the power whatever you want to call it. so there are seven laws of exponents we'll understand all seven laws and then we'll go for it for example first one is the product law so you have a raised to m a raised to n so when it is a raised to m and n with a multiplication sign we basically add the powers okay so that's the product law next one is the division law so a raised to m a raised to n with a division sign so the moment you see the division and the bases are same the powers are subtracted okay remember the powers are subtracted the third one a raised to m into n in this case we multiply the two powers that we have so when there is a multiplication you add but when there is a bracket we multiply will you remember that brilliant next one the fourth one a upon b raised to m so in this case we say a raised to m b raised to m distributive law m gets distributed to both likewise the same can be distributed this way also so in this case it will become a raised to m b raised to m both will get the same power sixth one very interesting anything raised to 0 is always equal to 1 and the last one most most important okay if you have a raised to 1 then when it comes down or let's say a raised to m it becomes negative so whenever there is negative in the denominator how to make it positive bring it up and automatically it will take care of itself so these seven laws very very important for this chapter and once you know them you are sorted with the entire topic so let's start with first exercise 2a sum number 1 part 1 can you handle it come on the negative thing i already told you how to work it out so let's put it down so negative raised to 1 is lost likewise this also goes down divided by this also will go down so we'll have 1 upon 27 divided by 1 upon 9 to when you remove this division into multiplication 9 will go on top 9 ones are 9 3s are so ultimately the answer becomes 1 by 3 simple perfect the first sum i didn't ask you to go on your own but the next sum onwards no cheating no copying you should try on your own so go for this one on your own pause the video right now and hit it pause i said no cheating okay so this will become 1/3 1/4 bracket divided by 1/6 so this will be 12 multiply so this goes up ones are twos are so my final answer should be half Am I feel got it? Brilliant. You are doing a good job. So see to it you continue the same and you do not cheat. The next one is one part four. Come on, go for it. So one third divided by one fourth. We are getting rid of the negatives. First thing always do is get rid of negativity. Even in your life or whether it is the sum. Either ways, okay. So one by three. If I multiply four goes on top square. So I'll have four square sixteen, three square nine. Always write your answer in mixed fraction. So this will be nine ones are seven by nine. That's what your mixed fraction should be. So always write the answers in mixed fraction. Okay, come on, let's go with the next one. One part five. Are you getting it? Not by cheating. Brilliant. Let's go with the next one. So this is going to be two square four, three square nine. Pause the video. Don't cheat. One upon four. So this is going to be thirteen upon four. For mixed fraction, it will be four threes are twelve, one by four. Isn't it really, really simple? This topic? Yes, it is. I am sure by the end of the topic, you will say it's actually very simple. So come on, one part six. Pause. Go ahead. How many of you are wanting to finish before me? Let's race. Let's see if we can do it. So twenty-five minus nine into two. Uh, I'm getting rid of the negative sign. So reciprocal, and then three. So 25 minus 9 should give me how much? 16 into 3 square 
सॉरी सॉरी थ्री क्यूब एंड टू क्यूब एट एट वन जा एट टू जा सो माई आंसर बिकम्स फिफ्टी फोर परफेक्ट इट यू गेट द सेम आंसर ब्रिलियंट इफ यू आर गेटिंग द सेम आंसर यू आर रियली डूइंग वेरी वेरी वेल सो कम ऑन लेट्स वॉन्ट द नेक्स्ट वन वन पार्ट सेवन आई हेव लेफ्ट द होल पेज बिकॉज आई अज्यूम दैट इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन कैन यू टेल मी दैट इट्स अ सिंपल वन ट्राई इट कम ऑन सो गेटिंग इट ऑफ द नेगेटिव सो दिस कम्स ऑन टॉप सो फोर क्यूब अगेन नेगेटिव सो दिस ऑल्सो कम्स ऑन टॉप सो थ्री क्यूब इन ब्रैकेट्स डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स ऑल्सो विल कम ऑन टॉप सो थ्री फर्दर फोर क्यूब सिक्सटी फोर थ्री क्यूब ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स क्यूब आई एम कीपिंग इट एट द मोमेंट लाइक दैट ओनली लेट्स सब्ट्रैक्ट सो थर्टी सेवन दिस विल बी एंड दिस विल कम डाउन सिक्स क्यूब टू वन सिक्स Since the denominators are bigger, you cannot convert this into mixed fraction. Leave it as it is. How many of you will manage the same? Brilliant. If you're getting on your own, you will definitely gain lot of confidence. But you should try. Okay, you should try. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Either get rid of the of the negative, or you can multiply these two also. So I'm taking minus three by four, and two twos are four, so negative four. Now reciprocal. Remember, reciprocal will change the sign of the power, not this sign. Okay, don't mess it up. Further, minus raised to four since it's even, this will become plus, and four raised to four, so that will be two fifty six, and three raised to four is eighty one. Convert to mixed fraction, I guess three times, so three two forty three. So the difference will be thirteen upon eighty one. This is what are you getting the same thing? In fact, I think can you reduce this? No, I don't think so. You can reduce. So once again, let me check. Two forty three plus thirteen two fifty six. Perfect. Okay. The next one, same way, hit it. Do not get it wrong, please. So three by five minus two minus two will become plus four. So three raised to four that will be eighty one, and five raised to four will be six twenty five. Nothing you can do further, so leave it like that only. Moving to the next one, sum number two. Two is an intelligent question. What you must do for the second question is take one one two five ka factors. Okay, so if I take factors with five first, five two is a ten, five two is a ten, five five is a. Again with five, if I take factors further, five four is a, five five is a. Then with forty five, so five nine is a. Three threes are and three ones are. So basically, I can say one one two five is equal to three raised to two, because we can see two threes into five raised to three, because we can see three fives. So if I compare these two, that means three raised to m, five raised to n will be three square five q. So basically, m is two and n is three. Your target was to find the values of m and n. Did you do the same thing? Was it simple? Brilliant. Come on, sum number three. Use your brains. Don't ask me. Try on your own. Come back and then I will help you. Okay. So three nine will become three square. Three raised to x. Twenty seven can be three cube. Two x minus three. Basically, what are we trying to do is get the bases same. So if bases are same, index will be same. Okay. So in this case, three x. If it is product, remember the product law plus two. And your three twos are six, and three threes are nine. Again, bases are same, so I can say x plus two, six x minus nine. You can say since bases are same, therefore index is same, and therefore we equated it. X goes on the other side, so five x. Nine comes over here, so eleven. So x becomes eleven by five. Mixed fraction. Two one by five should be our final answer. Did you get the same thing? If you're getting the same thing, I am impressed. Can you see how quickly? Not even eleven minutes, and we finished the first exercise. It is that simple. Come on, one part one. You won't need my help at all. Hit it. One raised to eight is one. Anything raised to zero also is one. Five cube one twenty five and two square four. So. 125 into 4 will give us 500 into 1 into 1 is the same thing. Simple, isn't it? How many of you are finding the topic very simple? Brilliant! You are doing good job. Come on, go for the next one. 2 raised to minus 9 and this. So it's the division law. You remember? So 2 raised to minus 
9 then this division ka minus and then minus 11 the whole thing raised to 3 so I'll have 2 raised to minus 9 plus 11 raised to 3 so 2 raised to minus 9 plus 11 gives us 2 so 2 3 is a 6 so 2 raised to 6 so 2 to the 4 to the 8 8 into 8 64 that's what the answer is going to be see if you have 2, six, two raised to 6 what you should do for quick calculation 2 raised to 6 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so this is 8 this also will be 8 so 8 into 8 64 directly you can do it instead of going 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 to the 32 to the 64 this is easier okay moving to the next one 1 part 5 anything raised to 0 you remember equals to 1 so 1 divided by 2 upon 5 cube so let's keep it as it is for the time being multiplied by 16 upon 25 rather we should add solve this anyway so 2 cube next step we do it 1 divided by 8 upon 125 into 16 upon 25 now since this is division take the reciprocal okay don't cancel over here or multiply over here bond mass says first the division has to be attended so this will become 125 upon 8 16 upon 25 further 25 ones are 5 are 8 ones are 2 are so my final answer should be 10 was this simple yes it is let's move on to the next one guys you are doing very well in fact girls as well come on go for it the next one so all bases are same we can clearly see it so i can take all the powers also together so 4 product means plus and division means minus so it's going to be minus 5 6 plus 4 10 minus 1 10 minus 9 is 1 so my final answer remains minus 5 don't you think this is very very simple yes it is okay 1 part 8 go for it again you can see all the bases same do it correctly and come back 1 third pause the video come on don't cheat 4 divide so minus 8 and multiply so plus 5 so we will have minus 1 by 3 raised to 4 minus 8 minus 4 plus 5 am i doing something wrong let me check so 4 minus 8 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 5 will be 1 so my, my answer is going to be minus 1 by 3 simple isn't it come on next one 625 625 if you take the factors you will get 5 raised to 4 you should know this by now 4 4 gets cancelled so 5 raised to minus 3 so let's bring it down so that the product the power becomes positive so final answer will be 1 upon 125 are you getting the same thing if yes i am impressed good job you're doing it very very well 1 part 12 come on hit it same time don't mess up okay 1 by 32 getting rid of the negative sign so 32 raised to minus 2 by 5 now 32 is 2 raised to 5 into minus 2 by 5 so 5 gets cancelled 5 minus we took the reciprocal so plus my bad sorry so 2 square and what is 2 square 4 simple see first we took the reciprocal to get rid of the negative sign then we said 2 raised to 5 so 5 5 got cancelled so you have 2 square so 2 square is nothing else but 4 so this let it be in bracket plus 2 okay so there's no confusion there come on 1 part 14 can you do it you should do it pause and try it come on all the best so 243 if you cannot understand take factors okay this is going to be 3 raised to 5 2 by 5 divided by 32 is going to be 2 raised to 5 minus 2 by 5 if you don't understand go for the factors like this and you will see 381 327 39 33 and 31 so can you see 3 raised to 5 exactly what i wrote 5 gets cancelled here also 5 gets cancelled so 3 square divided by 2 raised to minus 2 so 3 square 9 divided by 1 upon 2 square first i got rid of this minus sign let's go slow so we don't mess up and then this multiplication so reciprocal 2 square is 4 so our final answer should be 36 so you should be really smart you should keep your patience and not mess up okay let's move on with the next one 1 part 15 come on can you handle this it's simple so go slow but go correct okay minus 3 raised to 4 so minus 3 raised to 4 will be 81 
minus anything raised to 0 is 1 into minus 2 raised to 5 okay what do we do here so right now let's keep it as it is divided by 64 can be written as 4 cube 2 by 3 why I wrote 4 cube so that this 3 3 gets cancelled further 81 minus 1 we'll see right now don't subtract we'll follow what mass okay otherwise you will mess up minus 2 raised to 5 so 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 32 so minus 32 4 square should be 16 but division so reciprocal this is in bracket 16 ones are 16 twos are so 81 minus now board mass so multiply minus 1 into 2 so first we'll multiply so 81 minus 2 one minute this is minus 2 right so minus minus will become plus so the final answer will become 83 see had you multiplied 81 minus 1 as 80 and then probably multiplied by 2 you would have got a different answer so stick to board mass otherwise you will mess up once again let me explain we reached here this was as it is this is 1 this was crucial 4 cubes so cube got cancelled 4 square 16 but division so multiplied and comes down and this becomes negative 32 16 ones are 2 are so negative 2 comes here as it is you multiply and then you add so don't mess up and follow bot mass otherwise you will lose your marks you will get incorrect answer come on last sum for this video and you should get it correct so 27 is 3 cube 2 by 3 divided by 81 upon 16 so i can say 3 by 2 raised to 4 into negative 1 by 4 so 4 also gets cancelled 3 also gets cancelled so 3 square 9 divided by 3 upon 2 negative so to get the negative of i write 2 upon 3 okay and then to get this division of so i write multiply and again reciprocal so i get 27 by 2 don't forget mixed fraction so 13 times 1 by 2 should be the final answer how many of you all managed most of the sums on their own if you're getting it brilliant you don't have to worry at all you're doing very very well i'm going to make more videos for standard 8 i'll try and finish the entire portion half of that is already on the channel we also have something called as rough book app this app you can download using your play store and we have got full curriculum for standard 9 and standard 10 so you can access anytime you can tell your friends they can come onto the app and they can watch the videos there as well homework very important 2a one part two seven eight nine and three two b one part six eight eleven fourteen and sixteen please do your homework well if you do it you will get more confidence on your own self okay until the time i make the next video please tell me in the comment section what was your experience with this video so i come to know how do i modify for your benefit further until next time take care stay safe Pray for everyone and be honest. Bye. Hope you had a lovely mathematics experience with a rough book, our learning companion.